Hi there, Dawn Combs for Soda Farm. As I sit here recording this this morning, I am one day away from Thanksgiving. It is, you can see behind me in that window, it's really cold and rainy and gross today. So I'll be heading to the shop and hope that it doesn't chase everybody away that's getting ready for those, those last minute bits of Thanksgiving. Uh, I wanted to chat. It's interesting doing these daily vlogs now about what am I going to talk about every morning and I'm getting into a flow where I have a thought or I have a conversation in the store and I think that is something that I want to share with a wider audience. This one came to me this morning that uh, is kind of a thread that I've been picking at for a while and it has to do with Thanksgiving and this year. I've seen a lot of people talking about uh, how they're they're not going to celebrate Thanksgiving this year. We have the pandemic going on and uh, people are staying away from each other and, and there's so much change. It concerns me that we're not talking about how we're going to celebrate Thanksgiving. Um, there are elements in our larger culture that are interested in huge cultural change. N no matter how you look at that, no matter how deeply you go into what people are terming conspiracy theories, there is an element that is looking for fundamental change in, in this American culture. One of the first things that needs to be done when we do a culture change is to separate people from their past, to separate people from their traditional celebrations. I would caution everybody to think about what they're potentially stepping away from. Um, we've seen this before in, in natural health, in, in the herbal world people have been separated from the knowledge of how to step out into their backyard and how to care for themselves. And that's been done throughout history in a lot of different ways. In, in one instance, the, the knowledge was written into Latin so that the common people couldn't read it. Uh, it was brought into the church and only to be doled out by the church. And it became something that was evil and and uh, not appropriate for the lay person to express. In that way, the knowledge was separated from the people. And we've seen that over and over again. We're in another cycle here with the natural health. Uh, people just don't know how to take care of themselves. And that was done by steps, little bit away, little bitty steps uh, away from from the day in, day out, the, the cultural transmission of simply doing what our grandmothers, grandmothers have always done. The practice of going and collecting poke on a certain day in the spring. The practice of heading out and collecting elderberry together or, or berries in general. Every little bit of separation that we have from the past culture from those that came before us allows a new a, a new practice to come in it, it opens the door for something else to slide in and feel correct to feel new and exciting when we sit down at the thanksgiving table uh, in my family when we sit down at the thanksgiving table we are enjoying dishes that sat that, that were prepared with my grandmother's hands that were prepared with her mother's hands. Um, we have oyster dressing, and that's something that I'm finding some people are familiar with, and some people that is just a really strange thing to have on Thanksgiving. We do it because it is a connection to our family's past. We do it because that Thanksgiving dinner isn't complete without those tastes and those things that we remember. Um, when I make oyster dressing with my mother, my grandmothers are there. My grandmothers are remembered and brought into the family 
they're brought to the family table. They're brought into the family circle. Here in North America or in the Western culture, we don't have much of uh, ancestor veneration except in these traditions and in these meals. It's very, it would be very easy for um, my parents uh, to just do away with something like oyster dressing. My father gets gout and oyster dressing is not good for him. We still have it on the table. We still have it there because it's a connection to that past and we don't want to forget it and we don't want to leave our our parents and our grandparents out of that tradition. It's a dangerous slope for a culture to begin to move on into new practices because, well, it's a dangerous slope to move into new practices and forget the old. I have always recommended in everything that I say, I always say look towards the future and look at the past. That's the only balanced way to move forward. We can't move forward simply staring at what is coming uh, because we, we forget the mistakes of the past. We make them again. We... Um, we don't learn our history. We don't remember our ancestors. We don't give respect to those who are made, who, who have uh, made us in their bodies. We have a problem in the Western culture already of not honoring those things. And I fear that many people who are going to let go of Thanksgiving and Christmas traditions this year because we are concerned about illness are going to contribute to another big loss of culture. We don't have to just get rid of, let me see, how, how do I say this? Um, change is inevitable. Change happens. And it's not a bad thing to change. It's not a bad thing to bring in new traditions. Um, it's not a bad thing to change what we put on the table. But if we aren't honoring the past at the same time, we are creating very imbalanced practices, very a very imbalanced culture. One that only depends on the future and does not have a connection to its past. It's a very non-rooted culture. A, a very non-grounded culture and we are getting there more and more and more as we forget our traditions as we forget our the ability to go out in the backyard and take care of ourselves the ability to grow our food the ability to know how to make our food to cook we are losing so many skills day in day out because we are choosing to react to the here and now without taking into consideration our past without taking into consideration those that came before us and bringing them to the table. This Thanksgiving is kind of important in that culture. We are looking at people that are reacting out of fear and are willing to throw away an awful lot about our culture and are willing to throw away a lot about their families. Will they regain them? Will next Thanksgiving look different? I don't know. Will it just go right back to normal? I'm going to say probably not. I think once we walk away from our traditions this year, it might just be really difficult to walk back into them. So my challenge for you today is to help us to preserve the culture that we have. Help us to preserve our knowledge. We are... We are being left uh, very helpless as a, as a human species. We're being left very helpless. We're being left very disconnected. Um, connect yourself to your family that came before. Connect yourself to skills. It's what we teach. That's why we have our shop. It's why we have our products. It's why I, I teach online. Um, those skills are necessary to connect us to our ancestry. To, to connect us to the past. If you are changing your Thanksgiving this year, be mindful that we don't need to throw out all of the past in order to be cautious or in order to bring in new information 
or to honor something about uh, the Native Americans that we need to stop and pause and think about. There's a lot of ways to do both. Do both. Don't throw out what has come before you. Don't throw out your ancestors. Keep that connection to the past. When you sit down, if you sit down with your family uh, or if you sit down by yourself and you're on a Zoom call, find some way to connect yourself to those traditions from the past. Keep a hold of that life raft because we're going to need it. We're going to need those that ancestral wisdom. We're going to need those past skills. We're going to need that connection to our loved ones that came before us to be able to continue. Um, boy, that sounds really dire. <laughs> Uh, I think we're at a moment, guys. I think we're at a moment where it's really important. So um, this is not to say that we can't change, uh, but do it, do it consciously. Bring the past together with the future and the present and honor all of them. And I hope that uh, you are all going to have a happy Thanksgiving and that you sit down and, and be thankful for everything that you have and everything that you can have and everything that has happened before you. Um, remember, as always, real health happens just one step at a time. It's slow progress. Uh, also, the loss of our culture is just one step of, at a time. It's slow progress. And just as you reach health one day or much more healthy and you don't remember all the steps that you took before and you reach a new level, um, so too with cultural loss. It's one step, one erosion at, at a time. And before you know it, you're somewhere where you never imagined you could get uh, and you don't know how you got there. Don't let go of your culture or your family history this Thanksgiving. Have a happy Thanksgiving. And I hope to see you here again uh, later on this week. <laughs>